Ethyl hexanoate is most often described as licorice or anise seed in aroma, but it's one of many compounds that have a wide variety of descriptors depending on the individual taster. As with other esters, it's usually found in lower concentrations as part of an overall ester profile. Ethyl hexanoate is an ester that's produced by yeast during fermentation and it's usually found in low concentrations as part of an overall ester profile that gives beer fruity characteristics. This presentation applies to ethyl acetate, ethyl hexanoate, and isoamyl acetate, which are esters produced by a reaction of an acid with an alcohol. In yeast, this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called acyl alcohol transferase, or AAT. For example, Ethanol and acetic acid form ethyl acetate. Isoamyl alcohol and acetic acid form isoamyl acetate. And ethanol and hexoanic acid form ethyl hexanoate. Esters are common at various levels in most ale styles, but they're not as notable in lager styles. Ester profiles can strongly define the character of certain beer styles. For example, products like German wheat beers require a notable level of the ester isoamyl acetate to give beer its distinctive banana notes, which are dependent on both yeast strain and fermentation profile for their control. Ester levels are influenced by the concentration of the acid and the concentration of the alcohol, which are referred to as the substrates. However, in most cases, the concentration and activity of the enzyme is the controlling factor. Ester production is also very strain dependent. Ester levels are increased by low wort aeration or oxygenation, high fermentation temperatures, low pitching rates, high gravity worts, or glucose adjuncts and higher glucose concentrations.